hello everyone. Uh, I'm sharing my screen now. Uh, I believe you can see. Yes. Ah, okay, thank you. Um, so, uh, welcome to this new Rock in Action webinar. And today, uh, we, will, uh, we will be discussing the adhesion and suspension topic. Uh, and my name is Alan. Well, uh, let's start uh, with what we consider for adhesion and suspension in rock, because indeed uh, adhesion process, it's a very complex phenomenon, right? We can have, uh, for example, adhesion or co cohesion, but here in rock, we consider uh, as a tendency tendency of two or more entities, here I mean uh, two particles or particle and boundary, to be attracted uh, to each other, to each other. And the suspension process, uh, it, it is the idea of um, to have a heterogeneous mixture and uh, the particles do not dissolve, but get suspended uh, from the fluid due to the to an impeller motion. And we can uh, analyze these two processes with a mixing tank. E, that is uh, the process that uh, we will be analyzed today. Uh, here on this animation, uh, it is the results of the, the setup that will be shown to you. And we have uh, a, a two-way fluent coupling, coupling, right? And with water in the bottom of the tank and air in the upside. Here with the with the blue node uh, dots, we can see the interface between water and air. And we have an injection of the particles. And along with the simulation, we can see uh, an increase of the adhesion force. And we can check the cluster formation on the uh, on, our, on our system. And so uh, some key points about uh, the mixing tank, about this, uh, this analysis. Uh, the mixing is uh, an important unit operation in several uh, industries. And the idea is uh, to intend uh, to make the, the system uh, more homogeneous. So we, we have different, for example, different phases, and uh, we need to, to mix this, uh, this system. Uh, to allow uh, heat or mass transfer uh, be between the phases or the components and some applications here related to the to the particles i can uh, some some examples for example we can use this analysis to coat particles or to disperse uh, particles in a liquid or uh, to agglomerate particles to to form these clusters uh, these uh, are um, are some examples about it uh, so uh, in this demonstration uh, we will see a mixing tank uh, process uh, which consists uh, in a tank with impeller right uh, it is important to note uh, that is a fluent two-way coupling simulation so uh, we have water in the bottom of the tank and air in the upside. Uh, and the CFD mesh was built uh, with two regions. So we have a static one and we have a dynamic one. So on this region, we can set the impeller uh, velocity. So we have a rotational domain here. Uh, the idea of this process or the simulation is the impeller will rotate, uh, generate uh, a particle suspension, and here we have a transient adhesive module uh, that will account for the particle agglomeration, so uh, the cluster formation. Uh, it is important to note here too that uh, I, I am not uh, showing the fluent uh, setup, but if you have some doubts about it, uh, you, you can check the workshop 16. Here uh, we are we are using the same same case. Okay, uh, let's start with the the rock setup. Firstly, uh, when we can check the, the physics of our setup. Um, 
basically, uh, the, uh, we only need to, to adjust the core screen. So we need to enable uh, the CGM. Uh, here we will account a scale factor to our particles. The next step is to activate some modules. The first one, it is the CFB coupling particle statistics. So uh, with this module, we can analyze some, uh, some properties re related to the CFD site. The next one, it is the interparticle collision statistics. Uh, here uh, we can uh, analyze some quantities relative to the particles. Uh, first, here I, I am only uh, activating the force. And the last one, it is the transient adhesive force. This is a, Q, a custom mod, uh, module for the adhesion. So basically, uh, the inputs of this module is the adhesive distance and uh, uh, the force fraction, initial and final. Uh, the start time uh, to this module be accounted and a time coefficient because uh, we will change from initial to final force, force fraction with this uh, time coefficient. Uh, okay, the next step is to, is to import uh, our geometries. Uh, here, uh, we can import the geometries using the Fluent uh, setup. We can import the geometry for, from that file. And here, we are only uh, using these three uh, geometries. So we have the impeller, the shaft, and the walls. Uh, okay. And the next step will be to, to define the motion of the impeller. Uh, it is important to note here that when we uh, load the Fluent file into Rocky, uh, as the Fluent file already have this motion, so Rocky will automatically uh, create this motion frame. So we don't need to manually create it, but we still need uh, to link this frame to the geometries. So uh, we need to uh, link to the impeller and the shaft. So these two geometries needs to have the uh, motion frames. And the next step is to is to update, is to set the the materials property. So here we need to update the density of the particles. Uh, to uh, the idea is to set a higher value from water, right? To to see the suspension effect. And then we can create uh, our particle. We can right click on particles, okay. And then uh, we can set the particles. Here we, we are using a sphere shape with a size of 0.5 millimeters and with a scale factor of two to be applied to our CGM. And then we can set how uh, we will in inject these particles. Here uh, we, uh, are using a volume fill, and then we need to configure it. Basically, we need to define uh, what is the particle and what is the amount of mass uh, to be injected. And uh, beside, uh, besides of that, we need to define the region that we want to inject uh, these particles. Here, we will inject it in the upside uh, of our equipment. Uh, Okay, uh, above the, the water, the water phase. And then we need to specify our CFD coupling. Uh, here, uh, we need to specify the two-way fluent. When we select this mode, the uh, hockey will ask to uh, select the fluent setup. And uh, when you select the setup, a new entry will appear. So uh, for the interactions, coupling and zoning interfaces uh, tabs, uh, we don't need to change anything here, but on the Fluent tab, we need to, uh, to adjust. The first one, it is the rock face. Uh, this setup uh, was made in a Fluent, right? So on, on, in Fluent, we have three phase. We have water, air, 
and, and rock face. And then we need to specify an initialization too, because we need this file to specify the uh, water and air uh, location. And then uh, we need to specify the uh, how we want to execute the, the CFD, the fluent. And on the solver, uh, the last step, we need to specify the simulation duration. So here we are using five seconds of simulation. And then we need to specify uh, the output frequency. So here we are using a output, a fluent output multiplier of four. And this uh, will give us uh, a rock output of uh, 0 0.01 seconds. And then uh, the last step is define uh, the resources that we want to run a rock. Um, and that's it for the setup. Then we can start our simulation. Uh, after you finish your simulation, we can analyze uh, some post-processing. So here the case have already been uh, simulated. We have uh, all the information for our outputs and we can see the behavior of the particles along the, along the time. Uh, here we are, we are seeing the adhesive force and we can check, we can see the cluster formation uh, along the simulation. Uh, another thing here, it is we are showing all particles in our system. So maybe this could be, uh, could be hard to see. An idea here is to filter some of these particles, for example, to see with more details the impeller region. Uh, so we can create some user process, for example, a cube. Uh, let's hide the particles, okay. And on the cube, we can specify the center and the magnitude of the cube uh, to select uh, only half of our system to see, uh, for example, the, with more detail, the impeller region. Let's uh, show all the particles. And here we can check uh, what is happening uh, around the, the impeller. Uh, another thing here that we can do, uh, as we have a CFD coupling simulation, we can analyze um, the CFD results, right? So we have the results for all the fluent mesh, but we can use some uh, user process, for example, um, a cube, uh, to filter some of this point uh, and make some analysis. So here, let's uh, select a, a user process cube from this to a fluent. And here, the idea is we can define the center and magnitude of the cube to select only half uh, of, of our domain. And then we can filter uh, only these points I am showing here. This is the uh, are the CFD uh, points, okay? And uh, with these points, we can plot uh, CFD properties related, for example, fluent density or fluent velocity on the nodes. But we can also uh, check the vectors uh, on this point. So here we can visualize that uh, that the fluid uh, go up uh, next to the walls, right, and go down next to the to the center of the of the equipment. And uh, basically, this is the the uh, results that uh, some key results that uh, I prepared to show to you. So uh, getting back to the presentation, uh, the, the previous explanation has shown several capabilities of the Rock DEM. So we can analyze uh, particle accumulations, uh, we can verify uh, the mixing efficiency or check the cluster formation on the equipment. 
besides the uh, CFD results, all right. Uh, but of course, we have uh, several uh, other types of post-processing that we can uh, we can do uh, on this on this simulation. Uh, I believe. Uh, we don't have any additional questions on this on this case. Okay, so uh, this was what we prepared to show the, to you in this Rocking in Action webinar. Uh, it is worth to mention that we have more topics uh, to detail along this year. So, uh, and that's it for for today. Uh, many thanks uh, for your presence in today's webinar.